In this video, we're going to look at how we graph power functions using transformations. Um, so when we graph power functions, we actually use transformations in the same way that we would with any other power function, uh, like we would with a quadratic or with a cubic or even an absolute value function, square root function, any of those. So for this power function, uh, we have f of x equals uh, 1 minus x to the fifth. We want to rewrite this, probably rewrite this in standard form so we know exactly what transformations are being applied to this polynomial function, to this power function. So we can rewrite this as f of x equals, and then our leading term is going to be the highest power of x, which in this case is x to the fifth. Uh, don't forget that you have to take the sign that is in front of it, so negative x to the fifth, and then plus one. Now, in order to graph this using transformations, we want to graph the parent function of this first. So the parent function of this first uh, that we're going to graph is f of x equals x to the fifth power. So that's the first thing that we're going to graph. And if you recall that uh, f of x equals x to the fifth power, uh, since it's an odd degreed po uh, power function, is going to have the points 0, 0, so the origin, 1, 1, and also negative 1, negative 1. And it's going to act like a cubic function, where it's going to start low and then end high. And it gonna get, it's going to be a little bit flatter than a cubic function as you get closer to your origin. Uh, so if you graph the parent function, it's going to look something like this. So again, here's our uh, function rewritten in standard form. And then our parent function looks something like this. So it goes through the points negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Now, the first transformation that I usually would uh, encourage you to use and to graph would be any value of a that's being applied to our parent function. So in this case, we want to know what is this doing to our function. So the value of a in this case is negative 1. So what that does to our graph is it takes all of our y coordinates and multiplies them by a. So this negative, if you remember, is a reflection about the x-axis. So it takes all of our y coordinates and makes them its opposite. So 1, 1 is going to become uh, 1, negative 1, 0, 0 is going to stay there. And negative 1, negative 1 is going to become negative 1, positive 1. So we'll have uh, our graph, new graph going through these points here and it will now this time it will start high and end low so it will be reflected about the x-axis so this is what our reflected graph looks like so you can see that we have this reflection here it's reflected about the x-axis in purple and then the last transformation that we want to apply is going to be the plus one so this plus one uh, since this plus 1 is outside of our power, right, if it was like x plus 1, x plus 1 to the fifth, we would say that that's inside of our function. Uh, this moves it horizontally, but because it's outside of our function, it's going to move it up and down. And so this plus 1 is going to take all of our points on this purple graph and shift them up one unit. So they're all going to move up one unit, and we're going to have uh, what would be the origin up here. This here at negative 1, 1 is going to be here at negative 1, 2. And then at the point that's at 1, negative 1 is going to be at 1, 0. And it's going to keep its same general shape. It's just going to take our purple graph and shift it up one unit. So now we have this graph here in red, which is actually our end function, right? So this was what we the way that we rewrote it in standard form. Uh, it's just a manipulation of rewriting the terms. So this is actually our f original function that we started with and we're hoping to graph. So this right here, oh, we can't see that. This right here is f of x. So the graph in red is our power function that we were hoping to graph. 